Uh, hey all, Randy from Toronto here. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I am the um, events manager and board member for National Youth Pride Services. Uh, so my old school jam is Respect by Aretha Franklin, uh, which was released in 1967. Uh, so today I'm going to talk about how I feel the song Respect is still relevant and relatable today, nearly 50 years later in 2016. So in the song, uh, Aretha sings of a woman who is asking her partner to show her, show her some respect, and the message is clear, she wants equality. Uh, the first thing I notice about the song is a strong feminist theme, um, which I find kind of both amazing and sad. And I find it amazing because the song was very much uh, ahead of its time. I mean, every, originally it was released by Otis Redding, um, and was uh, ahead of its time uh, and it was a time that um, black people were still fighting for their rights in the USA uh, and yet uh, Aretha fearlessly belted out the fact that she knew she was valuable and demanded that be shown. Uh, what I find sad about it is that five decades later uh, women are still forced uh, to demand respect, uh, not just in relationships, but nearly every aspect of their lives. Um, so let's use women in, uh, working women for, uh, as an example, as our first example. So not only do women still deal with work, workplace harassment, um, uh, misogyny, uh, the ever annoying mansplaining, uh, we also have to, pa uh, to battle the uh, gender pay gap. Um, and for those of you who don't know, the gender pay gap is for every dollar that a white man receives, uh, his female counterpart uh, receives less. So Asian women receive 87, 87 cents uh, than when a white male receives a uh, dollar. Uh, white women receive 78 cents. Black women receive 64 cents, Hispanic women receive 54 cents, uh, and so on. Um, so that, uh, that glass ceiling can be pretty pesky at times. Um, women are also, uh, dis we're, all, we're dis disrespected in many ways, but we're also disrespected in being denied rights uh, of our own bodies. Recently there is a victory in Poland uh, when women took to the streets in droves, uh, about 7 million women uh, in approximately a week's time, um, to protest a ban against abortion. Um, but while they were successful in pushing the government back, or to back down, uh, shortly after, Ohio uh, set in motion a ban on abortion after six weeks. Um, six weeks after conception, and that does not include exceptions uh, for incest and rape, and will undoubtedly force women back into the days of uh, dark rooms, folding tables, and dirty tools. Um, every day, it seems like a fight for respect for women, with, and with every step we take forward, we do take one back. Um, fortunately, we're living in a world where women are are tired of being submissive and silent. Uh, like Aretha, we're demanding to be heard. We're um, stepping out of the shadows, using every platform and resource we have to combat ignorance and claim our due respect. So the other aspect of the song uh, that I think is relevant is the obvious relationship between partners mentioned. Uh, social media has shone more light into the private lives of people and exposed just how imbalanced those uh, relationships can be. Uh, it's also highlighted, it has also highlighted the idea of gender roles uh, and how absolutely absurd they are. Um, the notion that a man needs to take care of business, which is a reference to take out TCB, uh, is a line in the song and it's antiquated. Um, Speaking specifically about male-female relationships, men shouldn't be burdened with the pressure of having to take care of a woman. Uh, he should be taught from birth that she is just as valid and capable as he is, and that aggression and dominance are not the qualities of a, a real man. 
uh, that in fact, a men and women um, being emotionally equal will benefit him just as much. So, um, yeah, so that, those are my thoughts on the song Respect um, and how they relate to kind of what's going on in the world today. It's, it does seem like it's a, a constant battle uh, that we're all kind of searching for that respect in our relationship and our personal lives. Um, but I do think that uh, it's important to keep fighting and, uh, and feel good about it. So thank you for listening and uh, I'll, uh, I hope everyone's uh, doing well. <laughs>